Are you gonna Jay, what are you doing in here? Uh, just editing. Um, but I'm actually gonna get out of here. This video is gonna have to wait. Uh, I'm gonna go drive to LA. I have um, a pair of shoes that I gotta go pick up. We're grateful, good. grateful threes. Jeez, this chair today, I'll tell you. I've banged my knee on that today. Um, grateful three, so I'm gonna drive to LA, go pick up these shoes. Um, we have them sold already uh, for 20 grand, so it justifies jumping in my car, driving down for four hours, and then four hours back. So I'll need this, uh -huh. and I'll see you later. See you, man. Adios, time to drive. So I uh, got in the car, got some gas, typed it in, in the GPS, says it's a four hour and 14 minute drive, barring no traffic. And uh, we're, gonna get, we're gonna get this mission. So when I get there, um, I'll probably get some B-roll of the store. I'm gonna meet them up at Holy Grail, but because we wanna keep um, this person anonymous, I won't show the deal side of it, but I am gonna show you the shoes. I am gonna show you Holy Grail. I'll give you some B-roll of the drive. Um, but I'll see you guys in a few hours. So I finally made it. I turned the four hour drive in at three. I was speeding a little bit, but we here. Checking out the good folks at Holy Grail who are gonna allow me to do this meet up here. I've known these guys for a little bit. So they got their own version of the heat locker and it's got a couple things in there A lot of Adidas, a couple J's And then they got it broken down kind of like us Jordan 1's, it's all like by number But man, this wall is impressive in person This is where you guys keep the heaters up. Sign J's. So Kobe's, Bibby's. It's really dope. So to protect people's uh, livelihood, I couldn't show their faces or the transaction going down. But shout out to this ugly fool right here, Benji, that I've known for a really long time. Before he was saying this. He's been vegan uh, for a minute, but we're actually gonna go have some Wagyu steaks right now, right? You're gonna drop all that shit for the, for the, for the, for the beef? Yeah. Yeah. And Richie, one of our owners from Holy Grail, man. Thank you for allowing me to be here, bro. Yeah, man. Make sure to follow these guys on Instagram. And we'll be taking our 10% consignment fee. Hell yeah, you won't. <laughs> yeah, these are dope. Now I gotta go. I think I'm gonna go check out that nice kick store and then drive back to Vegas, bro. Um, That's why you're promoting me the kids, bro? Yeah. By Supreme. By wow. Supreme. <laughs> so I just walked up on nice kicks. I walked in there first and asked them if I could film in here because, you know, I I don't want to step on anybody's toes, but the layout's pretty dope. They got a lot of crazy stuff in here. Oh, the Hispanic joints. And that's my size. A lot of Jordans out here. I picked these up in ATL. So I got the shoes. It took me about three and a half hours to drive down here. I hung out for a little bit, checked out Nice Kicks, checked out uh, Holy Grail. Now I'm back on the road. Probably gonna get caught in a little traffic, but GPS says four hours and 17 minutes, so let's get it. See y'all later, LA. We never get to hang out for long periods of time. I made it home. It took me, here, let me settle that real quick. It took me 
three hours to get there three hours like 15 minutes to get there and I picked up the shoes I masked I like hella sped to get there right this was a deal that like I said I had been working on for a while had a bunch of people flake on me and it's understandable like it's a shoe that was allocated to influencers friends and family of Khaled and you know they're not supposed to sell the shoe but when there's the type of money that's being thrown around there's going to be a couple people that are going to be open to jeopardizing the relationships for a couple bucks right and um i didn't press anybody or anything of, of that sort i made a post i you know i got frustrated with the situation because i've been flaked on like multiple times over two three weeks and it's it's i'm not mad at anybody or upset it's just part of the it's part of the game right that that or the nature of the business that i'm in so i, I was like you know what let's see the power of the internet i made a post on facebook last night stating that uh i was looking for the shoe and a mutual acquaintance of the person that i bought the shoe from uh knew this person had it and was looking to sell it and uh like i stated before um part of the deal was this person did not want to um jeopardize their relationship with the people that gave them the shoe so they'll remain anonymous but just know that it came from an extremely reliable source within the you know within the group of people that had access to it um i bought the shoe the shoe's already been sold um so you know i'll get a little bit better. like i got some b-roll i might put a, throw a couple like b-roll sections of it um but yeah i woke up at eight I was on the road at like 12. I got there at 3. It is now 9.30. And uh, I'm back. So, uh, kind of, you know, relaxed. I'm exhausted. That, that was a grind. I, uh, I'm, I'm getting older, so these turn and burns are, are tough. They're fun because it's always something crazy on the other end. But... Anyways, as always, I appreciate you guys watching uh, my videos. I appreciate you guys getting me to about 113,000 subs now. If you haven't subscribed, sub to the channel. I got a lot of crazy content, stuff that we're working on. Um, I uh, One thing that I do want to spill the beans on is I'm going to be teaming up with Ink Magazine. And uh, I've, I've known these guys for... Uh, a few years now, I've, I've, you know, I've known them longer than I've actually been selling shoes. And Ink Magazine is a great group of people. They're also uh, part of World Famous Ink, and they have hundreds, hundreds of tattoo artists um, on their on their uh, team. Right now, the reason why I'm rambling about this is because you guys remember how I said I got to figure out a way to help. Uh, the people of Puerto Rico, right? Even some of my family members have been displaced or their homes have been damaged. Friends uh, have, their homes are all beat up. And you know, it's tough because you wanna help everybody, but then if you help one, you gotta help all. And then if you don't help enough with one as opposed to the other, like I just didn't wanna make anybody upset. So we're gonna team up with, um, we're gonna, all the money that we raise is gonna be, donated to uh, United for Puerto Rico. And what we're gonna do is uh, Halloween weekend, we are gonna do Friday, Saturday, Sunday pop-ups in store and we're gonna do flash tattoos. Now, I won't be tattooing, but I'm gonna get world-renowned award-winning artists plus local artists from Vegas that are gonna do flash tattoos that are gonna be about the size of your palm for 25 bucks now the cool thing is is one you're going to get a good quality tattoo and two all the proceeds are going to be donated so over three days i'm hoping that we could get a several hundred tattoos banged out by multiple artists this isn't going to be just one two three uh artists this is going to be a lot of artists we're going to have prizes you're going to be able to win a uh 
You, you might even be able to win a full-blown tattoo by a award-winning artist. I'm still working on the name, so I'm not going to name drop. But just know that by the time that Halloween weekend rolls around, there's going to be a lot of great artists that are going to be at the shop for a good cause. And uh, I really need you guys to like, comment, and share this video for that reason. Not even the shoe. Even though the shoe's dope, the drive was crazy, and coming back was crazy, and Holy Grail's a dope shop, and Nice Kicks was cool. But it's more about that. So help me spread the word so I can help the people of Puerto Rico. And as always, I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.